I'm here with Dr. Bill Mack, uh, extraordinary neurosurgeon within the Department of Neurosurgery here at Keck Medicine of USC. Uh, and, and Bill is dedicating his career to the prevention and treatment of stroke, the third largest cause of death and disability nationwide, worldwide for that matter. Your expertise in cerebrovascular and endovascular neurosurgery has been pretty remarkable. And, and I know one of the things, you use some image guiding tools and anyhow, can you tell us a little bit about what you do, Bill? Yeah, so, so I focus, as you said, on uh, diseases of the blood vessel of the brain. And the way we treat this has just evolved immensely in the last 10, 15 years. We used to do principally open uh, cerebrovascular surgery, which is taking you know, an open approach to a pathology in the brain, whether it's stroke or aneurysms or something like that. Now there's all these minimally invasive techniques where we can do our procedures through a needle stick in either the leg or the arm and thread our catheters through the blood vessels through that needle stick under x-ray guidance and treat these pathologies. Um, the most exciting recently has been, has been the stroke treatment. Um, we are now able to get patients in who have had large strokes and if we get them in in time, we're able to remove the blood clot in the brain through these minimally invasive techniques and restore function to many of these patients. I had a patient uh, not too long ago, mid 50s, uh, who came in with a devastating stroke, uh, couldn't move the right side of his body or speak and he, his family got him to the hospital. The outside hospital in the community recognized the stroke and sent him immediately to Keck Medicine of USC. And we were able, through the help of our huge team, get him on the cath lab table. And within 10 or 15 minutes, we were able to pull that blood clot out. And this patient was able to thank us and lift his right arm on the table practically. And it's, it's probably the most fulfilling part of what we do. It's unbelievable. What do you see as outcomes, or what's different than doing the big open versus using this in terms of what you've seen relative to recovery? And yeah, and the, patient, the patients love it because we are able to treat aneurysms or, or malformations in the brain, bring them in, use these procedures. They go home the next day, and the recovery wow. is, uh, is, is very, very quick, oftentimes back at work the next week. And this is from a, a life-threatening um, disease or pathology, and uh, the patients are... are are amazed. They come back to the office a week or two later and you'd never know anything happened. They have a band-aid on their on their leg that was removed, you know, a week earlier. Wow. That's amazing. Versus the open, I mean how along with yeah, the a hospital lot of, stay be beyond uh, Yeah, usually a three night hospital okay. stay, a, a several week recovery. Yeah. Um, and, and some patients need that and that's the right thing and it's it's a great treatment for them. But right. But when given the choice, it sure is nice to be able to, to do things in a, in a minimally invasive way where the patients are, are home the next morning. I would imagine uh, y y there's a lot of applications, as you said, through this, these intervascular routes. Um, does it allow you to get to places that you couldn't get to before? Sure. As well? so, so we can, with the technologies that have been developed these days that we've, we've helped develop, we can get to really any place in the brain. We could get to the to the deep reaches of the brain or even the surface of the brain through, through these catheters. And these are in one millimeter vessels, one millimeter blood vessels that are way out there. Um, it's, wow. it's very impressive. You know, when you talk about that research, you, you're, you're talking about different elements of the University of Southern California coming together on a common problem. How, how enriching has that been to your career in terms of the, the innovations that you've been a part of? So that's just the fantastic part about working at University of Southern California in a big research center. We have, um, we have collaborations with, with the engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and to see all these groups of people come together to work on these problems that are so important to us between signal processing. We have um, colleagues who are developing, microfabricating these probes, and then we're the ones who can put them to where they need to go and, and hopefully in the future affect the outcomes of patients. It's, it's, you know, it makes it all worth it. It's, it's why it's so nice to work here. Dr. Mack, you know, one of the things I'm very familiar with is our, our rapid transfer for stroke program. Can you talk about that? I mean, we get patients, I know, at all hours of the day. Uh, tell me what it takes to, to really be there for that patient uh, in such a program. Yeah, this is really exciting. And, and the stroke treatment happens at all hours and is absolutely a team sport. We have a fantastic uh, multidisciplinary team here at uh, Keck Medicine of USC. We have neurocritical care doctors, those are ICU doctors, stroke doctors, neurosurgeons, tech, 
technicians, technologists, and nursing team who all come in at once at the time that the patient arrives so that there's no delay. Uh, they work efficiently together, and this is a this is very difficult to reproduce outside of a big center that has all these teams together. So working with this team is, is what makes it great, and it what, it's what makes the patient, uh, the delivery of patient outcomes even better. I'm humbled when I, when I hear that, uh, you know, in terms of uh, all that you're pursuing, on top of your clinical practice, your family life, um, your research, and then advancing your, your knowledge and degrees, it just uh, speaks to the special human being that you are, Dr. Mack, and I just want to thank you very much for spending some time with me today and sharing the wonderful stuff that you do for patients here at Keck Medicine of USC. Well, thank you for having me. This has been wonderful.